Lynx is an abundance character that will come alongside Fu Xuan in the upcoming banner. Her element is quantum, and just like her banner mate, she will be part of the long-awaited Mono Quantum team. However, even if you don't use a quantum team, she still offers an extremely high value, especially for F2P players. Lynx is an amazing healer, even better than Natasha, that will replace Fire MC's position in the future. Yes, you heard it right. She's not here to kick Natasha out of the team. She's here to replace Fire MC from the budget sustain list. Sounds weird. How could an abundance character replace a preservation character? Let me explain. At this moment, there are three budget sustain. Natasha, March 7th, and Fire MC. If you don't have the premium sustains, these guys are your team's lifeline. However, among them, Fire MC is not a full-fledged sustain. Her original path was destruction, and during Kokolia Arc, she received a second path, which is preservation. Although it isn't officially announced yet, the chance for her to get a new path in the future is pretty much guaranteed. Just like in Genshin Impact, where the MC will have all elements power, in Honkai Star Rail, the MC final form is where she follows all the paths. This means, at some point, MC might need to leave her job as a sustain, and if we don't have another character to fill the void, it could be problematic. Yes, you can just switch her path back to preservation if you need it, but what if the other version is just so good you don't want to use her as preservation anymore? Having another budget sustain to pick is nice, and that's why Lynx is necessary. As a character, Lynx looks like a better version of Natasha. In terms of single-target heal, she's comparable to Nat. Lynx is better when it comes to AoE heal. On top of that, she removes one debuff from all party members. This is also an upgrade to Nat's debuff removal, which only affects one character at a time. Not to mention, one of her Eidolons grants her ally one-time debuff immunity. She just seems so efficient in a battle where the enemies spam debuffs. However, the ability that makes her able to replace Fire MC role lies in her skill that also increases the target ally's base taunt by 500%. This is the same value as March 7th skill, so you know how reliable it is. But do keep in mind that this effect only works on preservation and destruction characters. Using the skill on other paths won't activate it. I think that's fair, considering they are the paths with the highest base taunt. We also use them as natural taunters. Lynx will make them better at keeping the aggro. So this is how Lynx's team will be constructed in my opinion. Ideally, we want her to solo sustain. Double sustain is slow and not necessary in Memory of Chaos. Therefore, pairing her with a preservation character is out of the equation. She has to be paired with a destruction if you want to take advantage of her taunt application. Under Lynx's ability, destruction characters will have a 73% effective taunt which is enough to tank more than half of the total actions the enemies do in battle. So the way she protects the team is by directing majority of the enemy's attacks to characters that want to be hit such as Blade or Clara. The attacks that miss the target will be dealt with her healing power. It gives an illusion that your team has a preservation even though it actually doesn't. It sounds good, right? I think when it comes to solo sustaining, Lynx could be as good as Freezebot March, it's just we don't have a good budget destruction option to run this strategy at the moment. Hopefully, more destruction with this archetype will be released in the future. I'm curious, what do you think about Lynx? Do let me know in the comment below.